Green Belts, we are working on number nine and number 10 self-defense techniques. Now, number nine is a single hand choke, right? So Master C is behind me. He just has one hand. The other hand isn't locked up yet. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get my pinky and my ring fingers in and I'm just gonna bring it to my chest. I'm not pulling down, I'm pulling it into me. This is gonna buy me some time. So he's squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. I should have a sandwich here, but I have time. I'm not choking at this point. Now, from here, I'm gonna step behind him. And I want you to look how close I am. If we turn to the side, I'm not far. I'm super close to him. I can feel his glute and the um, back of his leg on the front of my leg. So I'm super close to him and I'm gonna take this other hand, the hand closest to him, and I'm going to elbow him and I'm gonna take this and go back as I do a tuck with the knee. Now, I might go down on him and that's okay. Perfectly okay. Or I, if he's not grabbing too hard, I could let go. But this is a takedown for your partner for number nine. Now, number 10 is what happens if number nine goes wrong. So this now, if we progress to he has me bent over and I'm in a side headlock position. So I need both of my hands to come up. And if you notice, my um, body is close to him. So if we go sideways again, look how close I am. So I'm not here. I'm super close so that I have the ability to take his balance. So my hands are up protecting my face and now I'm gonna go fishing. So I'm gonna take the hand that's closest to him and I'm gonna come up over the shoulder and I'm gonna grab for the philtrum that's right here. Don't grab for the mouth. Um, chin would be less effective. We really want that pressure point. And two things are gonna happen. I'm gonna pull back as I sit up and I'm gonna push with the hips. Now, this hand's still on me. It may come off of me or it may, he may stay tight and I may go down on him. That's perfectly okay. So I'm here, I'm gonna push and pull and it's a takedown, right? So make sure you be um, gentle with your partner if you're practicing at home. But these are the two techniques for the green belts.